I've studied the Flesh Raiders' idols. Here are my notes. I shut down the energy shield. Any word on Master Orgus's mission? No. My mother, she found peace during your absence. I am now matriarch. You don't have to go through this alone. People who say Jedi have no feelings are wrong. Before he left, Master Orgus told me there is no death. There is the Force. He believes our essence lives on when we die, and merges with the Force. I hope that's true. Matriarch! Flesh Raiders broke through our defenses. They did something to our crop fields. They dropped strange machines in the soil. When a scout approached one, he collapsed with sickness. He crawled away from the device and began to recover, but there are many more machines still out there. Tell your people to stay away from the fields. I'll get rid of these things. Be careful. If the machines are too powerful, save yourself. Hurry to the field. I fear we don't have much time. Oh, hello. You must be one of the Jedi. My name is Spalea. How do you do? I don't mean to be rude, but I'd rather not talk for long. My daughter is very sick, and I'm all she has since my husband died. I found a hollow recording on your husband's body. He said these manka cat teeth would help your daughter. You brought these for my daughter? Oh, this is what the doctor needs to make her medicine. I, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to say. It was the least I could do. I... You should be rewarded for this. Yes, uh... Wait, I know. Yes, you should have this. It was my husband's. It served him well, and now that you have saved my daughter's life, I hope it serves you well also. Thank you so much. I've... I've got to tell the doctor right away so that he can make Russo's medicine. I've destroyed the machines, poisoning your crops. I saw how you suffered out there. What you did was more than brave. It was... heroic. Since you came here, all you've done is risk your life to save us. Why would you face death again and again for people you barely know? You're worth the risk. Me? You don't even know me. You're strong, capable, a good person. What else should I know? I've lost so much. All I seem to have left are responsibilities. Being a matriarch means putting your own needs second. It's the same for Jedi, isn't it? If there's anything I can do as a friend, let me know. I will. Thank you. Please accept this token of affection from my people. You've earned it. I should go inform everyone that the danger is over. Finally put the Flesh Raider base out of commission. How are things on your end? I spoke to your old Padawan over the Hollow. He's doing all this so he can destroy the Sith. Well, that's not Sith himself. Good. If I can get to him, reason with him. At the Flesh Raider command base, I found coordinates to a number of secret camps. Too many to send only Jedi Masters. One camp is in the ruins of Upper Kaleth. That patrol you fought earlier was based there. Now's your chance to finish them off. Why spread our forces thin to hit all the camps at once? If we only go after a few, the Flesh Raiders could warn the rest and regroup. Be careful in those ruins. We haven't explored them all. Contact me when your mission's complete. May the Force be with you. You made it look easy last time, but we've thrown some surprises in there for you this time. Get out there and show them what you're made of. Yeah. <laughs> 
impressive round. Looks like we'll have to make things tougher next time. Forgive me, young Jedi, but I do not have time to give lessons these days. My only concern is administering to the Order's new recruits. If you are here on an unrelated matter, I fear I have no help to offer. I've got a new student for you. That's not how it works. You don't simply pick someone and hand him over to me. You may reveal the student to me, and I will consider the matter. If necessary, I may take it up with the Jedi Council. It seems there's a Flesh Raider strong in the Force. He's requested training. A Flesh Raider? You're serious? My understanding is that those creatures are primitive, cruel, and bloodthirsty. Not ideally prepared for the lifestyle of a Jedi. This Flesh Raider will murder a child if we refuse to teach him. We don't have much of a choice. A wicked situation. The Order is not a prison or a, a place for repentance. It is for the dedicated, the willing. Even assuming this recruit is strong in the Force, do you really think such a dangerous student could be taught? If he stays untrained, he'll go to the dark side. Perhaps you're right. Very well. Send your recruit to the temple, give him this medallion, and the Watchmen will know to grant him passage. When he arrives, I will consult with the Jedi Council. We will do what we can. Jedi, you came. Jedi talk. Learn power. What happened at the temple? What did the Master say? Tell him. Jedi talk. He... <laughs> I've done as you wished. You hear that? You get what you wanted. Hunt power, Jedi power, the rock den, all of it. Good thing Jedi hunt. Hunter den, Jedi hunt. Hunt rock den. He... he means you can hunt everything that belonged to him. The other flesh raiders, me, and he's leaving. Jedi prize! Je Jedi hunt! I didn't think you would do that. Rest here, my friend. The air is cold and the mountain paths are treacherous. Words are unnecessary when the Force is with you. What's a Jedi doing all the way out here? My name is Dozon. I stand watch over Kaleth, and I walk the path surrounding its grounds. I meditate upon my failure, and I learn of our past. As a Padawan, I came to Kaleth. Here I touch temptation and the dark side. Having failed once, I now act through other Jedi. Many helped me find knowledge of ancient Tython. Your mission sounds like a noble one. The task is difficult, but also calming. I look at Kaleth from afar, but never touch. By trusting others to walk where I cannot, I broaden my perspective. Lately, I've learned of a chamber hidden in Upper Kaleth, one central to a Tythonian machine. I'd very much like to restore the chamber's power. The old scrolls describe it as a place of knowledge and speech. Beyond that, I don't know its function, but it should do harm to no one. Without energy, the chamber has slept for millennia, yet there are droids in the ruins that still function, and you might use their power cells to fuel the machine. It's a good suggestion. I'll do what I can. Then go and tend this electric garden. Plant the droid seeds in the soil of the machine. Together, we'll bring the Tythonian secrets to light. Jedi, you found my son. Thank you. He told me what you did. He's safe now. And I'm glad his kidnappers with your masters. Is Vio okay? Last I saw, he was leaving the Flesh Raider camp. The Vio's scars are healing, and the Matriarch will tend to his mind. He'll be well again. You have my promise. Whenever the Elders speak about the Jedi, I'll speak too. My son will speak. This is our thanks. It was the least I could do. We wish you well, Jedi. Goodbye, and all the best to you. 
edlen der vi har kallet tom kæret, og den gør kæret visel mi az. Master Orgus sent me to drive back the flesh raiders. Os zis hajjot a kik nek a neve. Es tabo lab meg mindig uge. Oze disazos homa leban. Berega mosdu la lan felit kekob es elenga a gyob. An alien commands the flesh raiders. Is he here? Can fight on she. For dear can. Is as Allah sonny part on as Allah to peace all. Flesh Raider camps out of commission, Master, but they were all Force users. They killed a Jedi named Lauta. His body is in these ruins. What should I do? We'll reclaim our fallen lady. Just got a distress call from the Twi'lek settlement. They spotted Ben Moor. Our forces are spread out dealing with the secret camps. We're the only ones who can handle this. I'm on my way to the settlement. Meet me there. Ah, it's impossible! Why would my master assign me a trial that can't be done? Quiet, idiot. Every beast in the ruins will converge on you. Oh, you startled me. I didn't see you approach. My master says there are valuable materials behind that boulder over there. But get this, the blasted thing can't be moved. My instructions were to go to a platform in the ruins. Meditate and let the force empower me. But I've meditated till I can't see straight and nothing. Maybe you should just try again. Ah, you have no idea how long I've been at this. So I'm going to get drummed out of the order because I can't move a rock that can't be moved. It's absurd. Hey, what if maybe you could help me? Are you good at this meditation thing? I don't know, but I'm game to try. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. So just kneel at the altar nearby. Supposedly, if you find deep inner peace, you'll be able to move the boulder. If you fail, I can tell my master it wasn't just me who couldn't move it. I can't decide if I'm ashamed that I couldn't do it or happy that my mission is complete. There was supposed to be something important behind the boulder. That was a useless endeavor. But... Iniki. Master Quiljake, why are you here? Wana wada blota we jawa. O wama wanka matuske. Manji do di puna puna. Kabuk nuni snemo. 
Kuta Chuta Kaso Yali Kulira Tanki Kum. But, Master, it's not my fault. I didn't ask for help. I, I, I tried to decline. That is simply not true, Master Quilljake. Kunamo Uban Joni Alipa Eastin Koto Monkey Atacha Kapa Donka Jisa Picha Kutogi Kumpa Chiji no Lia Makichisa. You, it's all your fault. You ruined my chances. Kunamo Uban Joni Alipa Eastin Koto. So you were testing his determination and resolve. Kunta chuta, kaso yali kulira, tanki kum, manji do di puna puna, kabuk nuni snemo. O kakiza spida perupa, kadwa shiniko higa danulia. I feel sorry for Flingelt. He tried very hard. Atungi ma chechu i kutsi nankihe kitusta barawanga ne subulkubo pomo? Yes, yes, master. I mache churon chika jiliska chanaga. Master Orgus responded to your distress call. I was to meet him here. What's happened? Nothing. We didn't send any distress call. Things have been quiet since you left. I haven't seen or spoken to Master Orgus. Master Orgus should have gotten here ahead of me. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Your master will turn up. Why don't you stay a while? You must be exhausted. Stop it! What are you doing? Matriarch, step aside. Handing over the boy's master wasn't enough. This Padawan has to die. I told you to leave him alone. That was the pact. Bengalmore refused your terms. This is to save our people. You lied to my face. How could you do that? I had no choice. There are too many Flesh Raiders and not enough Jedi. Bengalmore came to me, said he'd end the Flesh Raider attacks if we gave him your master. He asked us to kill you too. But I said no. I told him we'd keep you here. You'd be safe. And my people would have a protector. If we don't do what we're told, Bengal Moore will kill us all. You don't want to hurt anyone. You want to leave here peacefully. I... I don't want to hurt anyone. We should leave here peacefully. Yes, better that way. Here, perhaps you can use these. We don't need them. This was all a terrible mistake. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was going to save you. Save us all. Bengal Moore wants to destroy my order, and you handed him my master. There's still time to save them. Bengal Moore took Orgus to someplace called the Forge. Reactivate your droid. It might know where to find them. You can forgive me, can't you? I don't condone what you've done, but I understand. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do to make this right. Learn from this mistake. Spend your life atoning for what you've done. I won't waste this chance. That's a promise. My people should hear what's happened. It's best if I tell them. I hope you find your master. Bengal Moore took my master someplace called the Forge. Do you know where that is? I am A4PO, Jedi Archivist. How may I help you? Transmit everything you know about the Forge to my droid T7. That 
area is considered highly dangerous. May I inquire why you need this data? Flesh Raiders captured Master Orgus and took him there. By the stars, what perfectly awful timing. The Temple Masters are all indisposed fighting Flesh Raiders. I will alert them immediately, but they may be unable to assist you. Transmitting data now. <laughs> I sensed you coming. Your fear betrayed you. You're weak, like my old master. You will fall with him. What happened to you on Coruscant? Why have you turned against the Jedi? Not the Jedi. The sick, spineless cowards that have taken their place. The traitors who let the Sith slaughter millions. You weren't on Coruscant. You never saw our greatest cut down or watched the temple burn. I escaped that destruction to see my own master surrender to the Sith. They exterminated us, and he gave up. You're wrong about Master Orgus. He's training me to defeat the Sith. Weapons are only as strong as those who created them. The weak will be sacrificed here to make the forge stronger. Jedi Order must be reborn from ashes. guided me to this defeat. You are stronger than any Jedi I've known. You could redeem the Order and destroy the Sith. I understand. You are the weapon I came to forge. You don't have a destiny, Bengal. You're sick. You need help. Don't deny the truth. Think. How else could you have beaten me? I have spent a lifetime learning the paths to power. That knowledge is now yours. Prepare the galaxy for your ascendance. I will deliver the gifts you need to reclaim your destiny. You'll get the help you need, Bengal. But you can't leave here. have you to thank for being alive. I captured Bengal Moore, Master. He's resting quietly. You've done a great thing. He deserves a second chance. The horrors he witnessed on Coruscant broke him, destroyed the gentle Padawan I trained. You, however, faced a challenge beyond any trial I could assign. There's nothing more I can teach you. All that's left is for you to enter the forge and construct your own lightsaber. I'm tremendously honored. There's no substitute for the weapon you create yourself. Normally we make Padawans gather materials themselves, but you've proven enough. These are all the physical components. The rest will come from your mastery of the Force. I'll carry Bengal back to the Jedi Temple and get him help. Meet me there when you're ready.